United States call Azerbaijan to release unjustly detained. On Azerbaijan's National Press Day, we pay tribute to this country's journalists and reiterate the importance of vibrant, independent media to a functioning democracy, reads a statement by the U.S. Embassy to Azerbaijan. The U.S. government is committed to supporting the advancement of professional journalism throughout the world with training, educational and exchange programs. We continue to call on Azerbaijan to adhere to its international human rights obligations and commitments and to release all those unjustly detained. Since November last year, more than 10 journalists and media workers have been detained on charges of currency smuggling, but they do not accept the accusations. They associate their arrests with their professional activities. Authorities say that no journalist in the country has been arrested for their work. However, the detained journalists and media workers are mainly employees of Canal 13, Abzaz Media, which are known for its investigations exposing corruption in the government, and Toplam TV, which conveys alternative views on the country's agenda to the public with its live programs for several hours a day. Local independent journalists and international media organizations call on the authorities to stop the tactics of intimidation against journalists. The number of these calls is increasing in the run-up to the COP29 climate conference in November. In 2024, Azerbaijan fell 13 places in the Press Freedom Index of Reporters Without Borders and became 164th out of 180 countries. Last year, it was 151st. In recent weeks, the Azerbaijani authorities have extended the detention of 11 journalists against the background of continuous pressure on the few remaining independent media outlets in the country. This is stated by the Committee to Protect Journalists in a statement. Azerbaijan should stop using arrests and travel bans as a tactic to silence and intimidate journalists. The authorities should remove all charges and restrictions on their movement, immediately release those in prison, said Carlos Martinez de la Serna, CPJ's program director in New York. Russia ready for Syrian-style military intervention in Georgia. Russia is prepared for a Syria-style military intervention in Georgia to help Georgia's ruling party retain power if requested, a senior Russian lawmaker stated. The remarks came amid Georgia's increasing alignment with Russia, amid repeated statements by Georgian officials alleging that mysterious powers are drawing them into a war with Russia and coup accusations levied at Georgian military volunteers who fought against Russia in Ukraine. Andrei Klimov, deputy chairman of Russia's Federation Council, made the remarks during a meeting of the Friends of Russia Club in Moscow, as reported by Georgian TV channel TV Pirveli. When asked if Russia would help prevent a potential coup attempt in Georgia, Klimov drew parallels with Syria, stating, Any coup is an interference by external forces in the internal affairs of another state, which violates the UN Charter. I'll tell you something else. For example, there was an attempt to overthrow the state in Syria. When Assad's legitimate government asked us for military assistance, we provided them with this assistance and, as you know, the situation in Syria has stabilized. Russia's military intervention in Syria began in September 2015 with the stated goal of supporting President Bashar al-Assad's government against various opposition groups. The campaign involved extensive airstrikes and the deployment of Russian military personnel, significantly altering the course of the Syrian civil war in favor of Assad's regime. Klimov's comments come amid ongoing tensions in Georgia over the adoption of a controversial foreign agents law, which sparked massive protests in the country. Critics argue the law could be used to restrict civil society organizations and is similar to legislation used in Russia to suppress opposition. The offer of Russian support also follows recent questioning of Georgian volunteers who fought for Ukraine, with some facing charges of plotting a coup and terrorism upon their return home. The Georgian government has been promoting a global war party conspiracy theory, claiming that external forces are attempting to orchestrate a coup or revolution in Georgia. This narrative has now been directly connected to the recent protests against the foreign agents law. Kaka Kaladzi, the mayor of Tbilisi and general secretary of the ruling Georgian Dream Party, explicitly stated on Rustavi 2 TV channel that 
there is an attempt from outside to arrange a coup, a revolution in the country. He cited the presence of foreign officials at recent protests as evidence of this alleged external interference.